This is an iPod Mini that I've recently taken apart. It came with a damaged hard drive. These are CF hard drives and not flash memory. And you can upgrade them using CF flash cards that are commonly found in SLR cameras. The problem is the CF cards are getting somewhat expensive. The SD cards are considerably cheaper than a uh, CF equivalent. What you can do though is you can buy a CF adapter where you put in an SD card over here which will convert it to a CF adapter. The CF adapters are about $13 now it's important when you buy one that you understand the XC standard and the HC standards. HC only goes up to 32 gig of storage and then you need one that's compatible with XC if you want to use a 64 gig SD card. And some of these are HC only so it's important to make sure you get an XC version. This particular CF card I got on Amazon and it specifically uh, does work with the XC cards and this was $13 at Amazon. I made another video where if you need to understand how to take the iPod Mini apart it will go through the whole walkthrough of how to take the iPod Mini apart and then restore through iTunes to get your Apple code back onto the memory card. But what's nice is here you can have a 64 gig iPod mini for a relatively small amount of money. These iPod minis are going on eBay for anywhere from 13 to 30 dollars depending on the condition and if they work or not. In many cases I look for ones that definitely do not work because I don't care if the, the hard drive is damaged because we're just going to toss that part what seems to control the cost a lot is the condition of the case. A lot of these cases are pretty uh, beaten up. You can also buy replacement cases for seven or eight dollars if you find a case that's really uh, in bad shape. But I really don't care about the condition of the case. It doesn't bother me. So going to the about menu on the iPod Mini, you can see it shows 59.8 uh, gig of usable space. I filled this one almost up to the maximum. The one issue with the CF to SD adapter is the SD cards are much slower at writing. So syncing this iPod with almost 60 gig of data uh, took several hours to get all the music over there. That could be an issue for some if you're constantly changing your music. In my case, once my music is on here, it doesn't change very often, so I'm okay with the slower uh, write speeds. Now the CF adapter that I bought on Amazon did not say it was an SDXC compatible. It said it was HC compatible. And HC cards only go to 32 gig. So I guess Amazon did not update the specs on what is actually being shipped. And it's called a DigiGear card, which you do not see on the Amazon site. It says it's from a company called iTech. Uh, but as you can see, the card they shipped is XC compatible, which means you can use it with the 64 gig or larger SD cards that are out there. And this worked great. I also tested the Mini. I put it on my Logitech uh, speaker dock and played the music in shuffle song mode for over 12 hours straight. No issues. It played everything fine. Nothing locked up. And it's a, it's a nice upgrade. So for around 70 bucks, you can get an iPod Mini with 64 gig of uh, memory. Just shop on uh, eBay for broken iPods 
and they in general are going for somewhere between 15 and 20 25 dollars